Well, to say it's been a wild day in Markham would be an understatement. For several hours today, a moose was roaming around a highly populated area not far from the Buttonville Airport, even darting through traffic and walking across front yards. Let's go live to CTV's Mike Arcelides. He's just back from Markham with the full story tonight. Mike? And what a day it was, Tony. Police were led on a wild moose chase. And at one point, the Ontario Provincial Police considered shutting down Highway 404 to stop potentially the lost moose roaming the streets of Markham from being hit by oncoming traffic. From the tarmac at Buttonville Airport to busy streets just east of the 404, tense moments for a young moose lost in the city of Markham. I literally came out the door and this moose came flying right into the field. No, I was very surprised to hear there's a moose on the loose. For more than eight hours, police and wildlife experts tracked the moose's every move on the ground and in the air, watching it dodge cars and trucks, trying to find its way home to the wild. We want to back off, use our UAV, locate it, let it settle down and get the MNR in there and hopefully they can tranquilize it. We're 10 feet behind them. The moose, believed to weigh more than 800 pounds, made its way right across neighborhood yards. Stopping, stopping. Stop. Can you hear us? Yes. Yeah, East of Leslie. And eventually into a wooded area at Kennedy Road and 16th Avenue. Where officials believe they had things under control. We're trying to keep it in a place where it's nice and contained and relaxed and calm. As soon as that animal gets frightened, this first reaction is to run. So we're trying to keep that animal in a place where it's safe and the public is therefore safe. A brush with nature, people here won't soon forget. It's very strange. We've had deer around here and foxes, and but not a moose. That's pretty amazing. This is the first moose I've ever heard of this far south. And when you're dealing with a large animal like this, just like a horse, you have to have the respect for the large animal because the animal can't communicate with the person. I give that jump over the fence a perfect 10 as it stands right now. Police are still on scene. However, they're letting the animal be right now because with the absence of all that commotion, they're hoping it'll calm down and make its way eventually back into the wild. In the time being, police have the scene and the MNR will be called in if the situation calls for it. Reporting live, I'm Mike Arsleides. Tony. What a story. Thanks for that, Mike.